Hello, it's Gem Games, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create double sliding doors. So yeah, let's get started. I have just created this little doorway, or this hole here, so we can add those doors there. Okay, and I have this starter content uh, here, so I can use some door mesh from this props folder, okay? But you can use, obviously, whatever you want. Okay, let's go to the third person. Uh, folder and to the blueprints and I will create that blueprint here and of course if you're using some other if you're uh, adding this to your project you want to add it to wherever you want but I will add the blueprint here so yeah let's add a blueprint class and actor let's call this door underscore pp okay now let's open it now what we want to do we want to Add a static mesh. We want to click this default, default scene root, and we want to add a static mesh. And let's call this door L. So door left. Now let's search for the mesh that we want to use. So door. Here we have this SM door. Okay. Now I will make this. Click this, and make this 90 degrees, so I can rotate it 90 degrees like that. Now I will change this to 100 and make that on so it's snapping to 100 okay like that and I actually want to make this a little bit bigger because it will fill not the whole square okay so I want to make this point 0 0.125 okay so now it should be around there okay I think it's a little bit too big maybe let's see now we can duplicate this and call it door R okay now click the door and actually we can click that and we press the E key. Oh, we cannot do it yet. Let's press the E key. Now let's click the door. Now we can rotate the other door. Now let's get, press the V key and we can move it to here. And as you can see, they are clipping through each other a little bit. So let's fix that. Let's go to the door R. Let's change this Y a scale to 1.11 like that. Also, this L to 1.11. And I think they are pretty much okay now. Yeah. Yes. Now we also want to add the collision. So when we walk near, the doors will automatically open. So let's add. And let's add a. Let's actually search for it. Collision. So let's add a. Sphere collision, for example. Let's move it to here and let's make the size, for example, 5, 5, 5. Okay. Actually, we can even make it bigger. So let's make 8, 8, 8. Okay. So now it looks like that. Now we want to go to the event graph. We want to delete all of these uh, nodes here and we want to right click and search for custom event. Like that. Let's call this open tours. Okay, let's add a one input from here. Let's call this input open and let's leave it as Boolean. Okay, now let's add a branch. So keep the B clicked and left click and connect it to the open door. Okay, open doors, sorry. Now let's connect the open a Boolean to the condition. Like that. After that, we want to right click and create a Timeline. Let's call this timeline open slash close TL like that. Now we want to connect uh, true to the play and false to the reverse. So when we are opening, it plays from the start. When we are not opening, so we are closing, it plays from the uh, end or where we were. Okay. Now let's open it and now let's change this length to whatever we want to time. Uh, open the doors B. So I will make it like 1.5 seconds. Okay, let's add a new flow track and it should be 1.5 seconds now. Now let's uh, left uh, right click here from the start and let's add a key. Let's make this key timed 0 and value 0. And let's press enter. Like that. Now we can right click from here and add a, another key. Now let's make the value 1 and time whatever time we have set here on the length, so 1.5. 
Okay, now we can compile and save and actually close this. So we are here. Now we want to get our door left. And we want to get from it and set relative location. Like that. And connect it to the update. Now we want to check what we want to set it to. So let's go to the viewport. Let's select our door L. So this one. And now we want to check the starting position is location x minus 100. And if you move it to here, it's x minus 200, as you can see. So we want to use those values. So we want to split this uh, new location to all these three pins. Now we want to get from the x because that's the ax axis we are using. So let's search for a lerp, lerp node. Let's get the lerp here. And now we can connect this new track zero, which is basically the value of the timeline. We want to connect it to the alpha. And now the A value was minus 100 and B was minus 200. Okay, so minus 100 is this value where it, where it is when it starts and 200 is here. Okay, when the alpha value is 1. Okay, now what we want to do here, we want to copy all these. So select and control C and control and V to paste them. Now we want to get from here and connect it to here. Now what we want to do, we want to change this door L reference to door R reference. Like that, let's connect it to target. Now let's get from here, from the new track. Let's double click from here. So we get a reroute and we want to get from here and connect to the alpha and another reroute to here. Actually, I will move this a little bit further down, like that. Now what we want to do here is we want to check the right door's uh, location. So it's 100 positive, not negative this time. And when it's here, it should be 200, like that. Okay, now let's go to the event graph and change these values to 100 and 200, like that. Let's compile and save. So now we have basically the functionality for the doors created. Now what we want to do, we want to right, uh, left click this sphere, this collision that we have, and we want to scroll down. And here we have this on component begin overlap. We want to create it here. And here what we want to do, we want to get from the other actor and we want to cast to our character blueprint. So cast to third person character or whatever character you are using. Okay. And now. After that, we want to just call this open doors function. So open doors. And now we want to make the open true because we are going to open it. Okay. Now we want to left click this sphere once again, and we want to scroll, scroll down, get this on component and overlap. And we want to also get from the other actor. We want to cast to Third. Oh, that was wrong one. Cast to third person character like that. And now we want to also uh, call that open doors function. We can actually call it, uh, copy it from here. So select and Control C, Control V. Okay, and let's connect. It. Now we want to make the open false. So basically, it closes it. Now let's compile and save and close this blueprint. Now we want to get the blueprint to the map. And we want to rotate it. Okay. And now let's move it to where we want to move it. So for example, to here. And I will actually, I think I want to rotate it other way. So it's a little bit, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. So it's there right now. Let's save and let's play. I want to play as new a little window. So it's easier. See what's happening. So now when I go close it should open yeah I can walk through when I go here it will close you see so everything is working as it's supposed to work hope you liked the video hope you learned something new if you did please click the like button and subscribe for more and I also have a call of duty uh, zombies tutorial series on my channel so if you like that kind of stuff please go check that out it's a pretty good series okay so hope you have a great day and see you on the next one bye